Gecko is battery powered and doesn't need a smartphone or computer to run, although the updates can be downloaded via PC. It features a pair of very sensitive microphones that pick up your singing, whistling, or tapping in stereo. Located in between them, there are activity and signal indicator LEDs, set and reset buttons, battery power, and a USB connection indicator. Below you find four infrared proximity sensors. These are great to control various things without your fingers interfering with microphones. These two rows of LEDs, eight red and four orange, usually show sequencer and beats. They may also indicate how the sensors work or signal levels. The illuminated full octave keyboard displays chords that are currently being played or captured while in programming mode. Gecko has many ways to run and roll. Let's call them channels. There are four buttons to key in the channel number, control volume, tone, sequence, and a lot of other settings depending on selected channel. Two headphone output jacks are great for sharing the experience. However, with additional splitters, you can connect even four pairs of headphones. Stereo line input is good for connecting additional sound sources, like piezo ceramic pickups, which you can attach to pretty much anything or even electric guitar. Power on switch saves the battery and selects firmware update mode. There is one more sensor which you can't see, a linear magnetic sensor that reacts to a magnetic ring, expanding the possibilities. The DSP can do things a smartphone application never could, as the sound processing happens with zero latency. Should the default settings fail to meet your needs, adjust the preamp gain with these two trimmers. The board is hackable. If you are a maker or DIY enthusiast, on the bottom side of Gecko, you can find soldering pads for connecting a standard serial port, I2C port for peripherals like sensors, displays, or additional chip to expand the memory. A common USB interface is good enough for firmware updating, but when developing your own code, fast programming and debug port comes handy. The sound circuit is well known, and it is trivial to modify existing demos and other open source code for ST Discovery platform to run on this board.